What I'd like to do in this video is add some duct accessories and also I'd like to configure the routing preferences of our duct to add some different fittings. I'm going to go to my level 1 ceiling plan. I'm going to zoom into this area here and I'm going to go to systems. Now I'm going to come over to my HVAC and I'm going to select duct accessory. What I have here, and the only accessory we have in our model, is a fire damper. So with my fire damper, what I want to do is I want to find a rectangular duct, and I want to put it in there. So I can go to either side of the wall, although this duct's above the wall, perhaps this wall runs all the way up to the bottom of the deck. I'm going to put my fire damper right here. It's going to cut itself in, and the fire damper's there. I can also come down here. It doesn't really matter what size. I'm going to go ahead and put my fire damper right here. Now, once it's in, what I can do is I can click on the cycle button and it will cycle through based on how it went in. So right now, it looks like the handle's on the bottom. If I click rotate, now I know that my handle will be off to the side. This one, I actually want my handle on the bottom, so I'm going to click rotate. I'm going to hit escape. So I can see two different ways to put in a damper. Now I'd like to find a balancing damper to come off of here. I know we don't have one in our model, so I'm just going to go to Insert, then I'm going to go to Load Family, and I want to find Duct. I want to go to Accessories. I want to go to Dampers. I'm going to grab M Balancing Damper Round. Notice we have other dampers we can use. I'm going to click Open. Now I'm going to go back to Systems. I'm going to click on Duct Accessory, and luckily M Balancing Damper Round is the choice, so I'm just going to put one here. Now we can put our balancing dampers in between our flex duct and our takeoffs. And of course, if I select my damper, we can rotate it, rotate it to dictate which way it's going in. If it looks kind of funny, what I'd like you to do is come up here and click on this button right here. This is called Thin Lines, and this helps quite a bit. And it's going to help in the next configuration as well. So what I want to do is I want to configure the taps that our takeoffs are using. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select any one of these round duct tap short radius. And I want to click on Edit Type. Now, we have what's called Routing Preferences. So when I drew this, how did it know to put that takeoff in there? Well, that's all controlled within the routing preferences of our fittings. So what I want to do is I want to click on the Edit button right here. My preferred junction type is a tap, but my junction, I'm going to click in here and hit the drop down. And what I want is an M round takeoff shoe standard. So I'm going to select my shoe. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click Apply. I'm going to click OK. Now, that's not going to configure what's already there. We'd have to physically select these and change them. But if I select this, if I right-click and create similar, I'm just going to draw this off of here somewhere and come out to here. We'll see that's going to put that shoe in there. So let's go to a 3D view. I'm going to zoom into where we put our shoe in. And it's right in this area. And what I was saying about the Thin Lines button, it looks really jagged and odd looking. So go ahead and click on your Thin Lines button. Now I can see it a little bit better. And to see it even better, I'm going to come down here to my visual style. I'm going to click this. Notice that we can't do anything because if you remember before, what we have to do is in our properties, we have to scroll down and we have to make sure that our view template, click Mechanical Plan, select None, click Apply, Click OK. Now I'm going to select Realistic View from my graphics display. Now we have our shoe in there. It's a funny looking shoe, but this is how we do it. And of course, if you select it, we can rotate it. We don't want to rotate it in that orientation, but we want to rotate it around to the other side. We can do that as well. One other thing I'd like to do, go ahead and select this duct. I want you to click on Cap Open Ends right here. It's going to cap the open end of that duct. This is important. 
So let's go back down to our level one ceiling plan. I'm gonna select this duct and I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna get rid of here. But it's important that we cap all of our open ends. So I'm gonna select this duct. I'm gonna cap my open end. Any open end, I wanna cap it. This used to be a lot harder than this. And I missed one here. I'm gonna click cap open ends. And there we go. I'm gonna to go to a 3D view and all of our caps are in place. I'm gonna uncheck thin lines and we're good. That's how you add accessories and how you configure fittings.